All right, just a quick introduction to the video you're about to see. What I'm filming right now and what you're watching right now is after everything that is about to follow in this video. Might have not been pretty, might have not been perfect by any means. Uh, working with my bulldogs is not perfect. We're rough around the edges on everything because we don't do all this every day, all day. Might be months in between uh, tasks and stuff like that that we use kneeling and, that, and stuff like that for, for like driving and herding or catching. But uh, all in all, the goats know that there's a shelter here now. And uh, that's what we was trying to do. They've been sitting out in the rain all morning. And... Uh, and now they're up here. They was just in it. I stepped outside. They come out. But they, they've been in there. They know it's in there. Now they just got to get warmed up to the goats. And hopefully everything will be fine. All right. We got some new hair sheep. Just three to start off with to try out. And they won't go. They're just standing out here in the rain. They won't go to the shelter that we provided them. I don't know that they've seen it yet. So we're going to try to get them over there in it. I got Laurel out here just to help me try to push them this way so far. It ain't been working out. Like I said, she ain't really been used to do this. She's pregnant too. And if not, though, we will use Mr. Neyland's assistance. So we'll see if we can just get them up to dry shelter. I don't want to see them sit out here in the rain. It's been raining pretty good some parts of the day. All right, new plan. They keep they keep cutting back and going back to that one corner. So we're going to try to go up here, push the pygmy goats out. Once these pygmy goats get far enough out, they know where to go. So we're hoping the sheep will follow along with them. We'll see how that works out. All right, we was able to push the little pygmies out. We'll make them try to force them down there with the sheep and then we'll go back down there and try to push them up this way and see what we can do. We got Laurel here just along for the ride. Well, the goats ain't wanting to go down with the sheep, but I got their shelter locked out, so they're going to have to hang out too for a minute, or they think they're going to go back in, and they're not. Well, she pushed them a little bit down there before I could get my camera out. She turned around. We'll, we'll see what she does. Might as well do an update video while we're out here working. Laurel, she's uh, coming along in her pregnancy. She's starting to fill up with milk. So puppies, June the 7th, on her about somewhere around there. As you can see, she's definitely gaining weight. So we'll get back to work. If not, we're going to have to bring Neyland in here because Neyland will put them back up. And sorry for the filming uh, vertical. I usually don't do that, but I thought this was going to be a short video, and it's not. So we're going to have to pull out Mr. Nealon, I think. We'll get back to y'all in just a second. Now, well, before we go too far, we'll just walk and film. I got Laurel to my left here. Um, these are hair sheep. This is a cross of Dorper, St. Croix, Katahdin, I think maybe some little bit of touch of Barbados. I got it from a farm. Got them from a farm up the road. A guy that we've known, I've known my whole life pretty much. He's got several of them. And we wanted to try out a new animal because the goats just don't really do a great job with us at land management because we have pasture and, uh, they're, they do good on pasture. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. But, uh, and I got the small ones too, but they just, they, they like to nitpick and pick around and eat around. They might eat a patch of this over here and then leave the stuff right beside it and then go down here and eat something else where the sheep, they're just grazers. So just wanted to let y'all know what we got going on here. And uh, we're going to try this one more time. If not, I'm going to have to go put kneeling or laurel up and pull kneeling out and we'll see what we can do all right the old man he's ready to do some work come here boy it's been muddy or it is muddy he's been running this fence line he knows we've been trying to do some work he's been trying to get our attention so we're going to let him out take him down here and if everything goes well like it does with the goats we'll have everything up in the shelter uh fairly fast 
Now, I'm just wanting to show these sheep that there is a shelter. It's been pouring this morning. They've just been curled up into the corner, and I don't want to see that. They're new here. I might have messed up when I dropped them off because I didn't take them to the shelter and show them that they had a safe place to go to. So we definitely want to show them that. That way they just don't sit out in the rain all day. So here we go. We'll let him out, and we'll get back to you all. Definitely proven to be harder than the goats. The sheep are actually a little more stubborn. They're trying to jump over the fence. Let's see. Let's see what he does. We'll push him back up. I'll help him. Come on, goats. Let's go. Come on, goats. Let's go. He does have the sheep. Two of the sheep up there. Uh-uh. At the shelter. This is why I don't hardly film a lot of the work because it's so hard to get good footage and stay out of stay out of the way. All right, let's go, let's go. Back here with me, Neyland. We'll get back to y'all. All right, we've had to put Neyland back in over here. He got one of the sheep to go in the shelter and the rest of the herd kept coming down here, so. The sheep, I don't know if the sheep have ever seen a dog, and they're close to a year old. So for their safety, we decided to abort mission. We got one sheep up there. I'm going to see if I can just push them up myself. But that's why, uh, to me, a bulldog is a very, like, jack-of-all-trades, but expert in none, as they say. You know, a collie or something like that would have had these dog or had these goats and sheep back in there and the goats do fine sheep don't know what's going on they're trying to clear the fence they're trying to go through the fence because they don't know where all the fences are at yet and they smacked the fence a time or two not knowing that there was a fence there and freaking out thinking neyland was going to harm them in all of that neyland never once uh nipped at them or or put teeth on them or anything but one sheep does know that there's a shelter so it's not always pretty and i'll say this that something that somebody said the other day that i fully agree with is if i was better and knowing what i was doing my dogs would be better but we're just kind of learning as we go now he's running the fence line still and he's gonna <clears throat> he's, he's gonna probably scare them a little bit more but that's the farm update never a dull moment with new animals and bulldogs on a farm so at least the goats and sheep are together now and i'm hoping we can get them all up there safe but be on the lookout we are going to have some pups around june the 7th so if you are interested in some american bulldog puppies they'll be in kc registered uh just uh get in contact with me email me at pride of the southland kennels at outlook.com thank you for watching